in the heat of election season. Democratic Congressman Jared Golden and local business leaders touring Elmet Manufacturing in Lewiston, where he was recognized by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce for his support of small businesses. I thought that the infrastructure bill was the, the right uh, you know, policy for the country, uh, a necessary investment in the future. And the congressman was integral in getting that bipartisan infrastructure bill done. There were so many different times where we thought the bill was, was dead. Has earned this award for his but the organization says this recognition, focusing on Golden's work in Congress, is not an endorsement of his campaign for a third term. We understand with the timing, but we really want to highlight it. It's, it's not politics, it's policy. The Maine State Chamber of Commerce also on hand for the congressman's recognition. President Dana Connor says the Maine State Chamber of Commerce does not and has not endorsed political candidates. But when it comes to candidates, we want to work with whomever to be able to speak up for business and not be ignored because you chose to represent one over the other. However, the U.S. Chamber does endorse candidates and even endorse three today, including New Hampshire Democrat Chris Pappas, seen here with President Biden in 2021. What the, you know, whatever decisions they make about endorsing or not endorsing, uh, you know, that's just not why I do the job. Leaders say today is about recognizing the work Golden has already accomplished, and Golden is proud of his achievements. It speaks to what I've done over the last two years. So many different roadblocks, but the congressman kept pushing that forward. We also heard today from Congressman Golden's opponents on the November ballot, independent Tiffany Bond and former Congressman Republican Bruce Poliquin. Poliquin writing to New Center Maine, Jared Golden claims to be against corporations, but then is taking support from the biggest corporations in the country. Hypocritical. I have and will always stand up and fight for Maine small businesses. And we also heard from Tiffany Bond, who said it's always nice to hear when groups feel they have been represented, though it would have been nice to hear directly what he believes these successes are at the Lewiston Auburn Chamber of Commerce meet the candidates event last Wednesday that he chose not to attend. As someone who runs a small business and has served on the board of directors for a Chamber of Commerce, we still have very far to go in changes to federal law needed to fully support small businesses in Maine.